Hi guys, what is going on? Welcome to another technology video and today I'm going to compare the difference between the cheapest Samsung Android tablet which is the Tab A7 Lite at 8.7 inch screen size 32 gig of memory space versus the Lenovo Tab M8. Now this is the best selling Lenovo tablet and both tablets are very similar with the latest uh, iPad mini. However, uh, you are going to get this with a much lower price point so you don't have to be locked into the Apple ecosystem I mean on the Android tablet can be as good so uh, it's good way to save money like if you don't need that much high processing power coming from a Apple silicon the Android is as good so I am going to compare how these two are different. The Lenovo Tab M8 is at 8 inch size. So here you can see side by side. And how are they different? So I've been using both for about two weeks, three weeks now and have a good uh, user experience about them so I want to share with everyone so you can know which one you would pick uh, definitely they are much better than uh, iPad mini in my opinion uh, because you can get them much much cheaper and they look and feel very similar uh, first of all uh, with the advantage of the uh, Samsung one is that the screen is a little bit bigger so when you are looking at photo uh, reading information uh, it is more comfortable to look at and the text the photo uh, everything will look bigger on on this tablet uh, However, it is using the TFT technology, which is the uh, cheapest technology uh, you can have for computer. And you can see the viewing angle is not so good. And the, no the Novo is using the uh, IPS screen so that uh, when you see from all angle, it's is very nice there is no uh, there is no screen viewing angle issue and also because the Samsung is using the TFT technology so that um, uh, when you look at it in certain light condition you can see the flickering a little bit of the screen uh, it's difficult to explain on the video is when you are using it you will sort of experience that uh, the strange flickering so in terms of screen quality I have to say that the uh, the novel tablet is better uh, in this category and the next thing I want to compare is the camera so the camera on the Samsung is an 8 megapixel and the camera on the Lenovo M8 is a uh, 5 megapixel and I did several street shots where I just go into the camera app and then take a picture no editing, no nothing and I was sitting at the same spot and taking the same picture and with both tablet and the picture on the Samsung just much better so uh, if if the camera is important to you on the tablet uh, definitely 
Samsung is your uh, better choice. And if if the screen is more important to you, the Novo tablet is a better choice. Um, now I'm going to talk about the specialty. Uh, what I find very useful for the Samsung tablet is that they have a double click function on the power button. So on the power button, if you double click, on the Samsung, you can program and go to your favorite app. Like for me, I use this app all the time, Best Buy, to look up a product information. So every time when I do the double click, boom, it goes directly to my app. So this is very time saving uh, whenever I'm unlocking my tablet. And uh, this is a very good function on the Samsung tablet. Now on the Lenovo, it doesn't have such function. When you double click on the power, it must go to the photo. It's, you cannot, it go to the camera. You cannot change this to whatever app you want. Uh, however, on the Lenovo, I really like their thinness and lightness. Like it's a, it's a, it's a especially um, it feels so good in the hand. Uh, so that's the thing I really like about the Lenovo tablet. And another thing about the Lenovo tablet is that it come with a docking station if you get the if you get the smart tab so basically you can they there are charging port underneath of the tablet you can you can put you can dock your tablet onto the charging port and it will start charging and it will also go into the ambient mode. In the ambient mode, it will become a smart clock or smart uh, photo album. It will play your photo uh, from your uh, from your Google photo and show you some information. And you can use it to control your home. Uh, for example, I can go, hey Google, Turn off all my light. Sure, turning off two lights. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom light isn't available right now. Hey Google. Hey Google, turn on all my light. Okay, turning two lights on. Sorry, it looks like the bedroom light isn't available right now. Uh, now, this is a very good concept by Lenovo, but somehow, um, I uh, sometimes when I dock it, it doesn't connect to the power cord. So you kind of have to make sure you connect to the right point. And another thing is that um, for some reason, when I'm using the ambient mode, uh, the the ambient microphone isn't working properly like right now if i say anything hey google wake up hey google tell me a joke for some reason it wouldn't uh, react but it's still kind of nice to have a charging station because uh, it's instead of plugging a cable kind of difficult jamming you can just just put it put it on the docking station and then it's charging um, another thing uh, I also want to mention is the uh, different accessory that is good for your tablet for example uh, this Samsung one uh, I usually hold it with my hand and uh, it's heavier than the the novel tablet so i think it's quite important that you have a case to protect just in case you bump into something or you drop the tablet and uh, 
So I just want to remove the case. Okay, so here. So without the case, here you can see um, this is a very good bumper case with emphasis on the corner. And because you know this kind of uh, metal design is very fragile, so I put this one to have a good protection. And for my Lenovo tablet, because it's very thin, so I have a very different idea about this. Instead of uh, putting a big bumper and make this thing huge, and also not able to fill in the metal, I decided not to put a case on my Lenovo tablet. Instead, I got a little uh, thing like this from Amazon. So basically, it's a strap you can put at the top and at the bottom like that and uh, it's surprisingly good it's very simple but it's very good because it allows you to hold your tablet like this it's especially good uh, when you are lying down on a recliner or on bed and you are just looking at information uh, looking at news and then you can use one one finger to you can use one hand to control your tablet like it just lock onto your hand and with better holding and easier holding then the chance of dropping the tablet and for it to hit something bump something would be very slim so this is a very nice accessory to have uh, in my opinion for the Novo tablet because I want it to stay thin and uh, uh, another cool accessory to get is a Bluetooth keyboard uh, like if you want to check your email reply to email and be productive on the road and you can just Bluetooth and use it together with your tablet and Anywhere you go, you can begin really fast word processing, email, replying, answering, blogging, messaging. And this is very cool to have and very small, compact system that is super lightweight, easy to travel. Look at that. It's so, so simple, so beautiful. And before I finish the video today, the final thing to show everyone is another option from Lenovo. I really like Lenovo because they are very innovating. They always come up with cool ideas for their product. And check this out. This is a very tiny shoulder bag. And I put a Lenovo Tab M7. So instead of 8 inch, they make it a little bit smaller and still big and comfortable to look for the eyes. So this one is uh, very cute. I got it on a special promo for like $90 Canadian. It's crazy cheap. Yet it has enough power and good screen to do most of what I want to do. Like looking at news, play video, uh, looking up on my Quora and connect to a Bluetooth keyboard and be productive. And um, so this one is at seven inch versus the eight, eight inch. So here you can see this is, this is a little bit smaller and 7 inch is so perfect because uh, on the cell phone you know if you have a small cell phone if you try to read on this for a long time it's very uncomfortable or if you have enough money you get to the 5 or 6 inch screen but then it, it's, it's very expensive and this one you are at 7 inch is 1 inch bigger than any one of those 
high-end phone which costs you a lot of money and if you happen to drop it you break your screen you break your heart but with this one it doesn't cost you much money and you can enjoy the large screen and when you are on the go you can set it up this one is also a very cool Bluetooth keyboard it's affordable so here you can have a ultra compact ultra tiny very productive system on the go just like that so this is very nice like I can put my whole computing system right into a very small and tiny shoulder bag the screen the keyboard can go in right here and the stand for the tablet boom everything so small so it doesn't matter where I go coffee shop and anywhere I stop I can be very productive so that's it for the video today uh, I talk about a lot of things lots of detail on the different product and choice and their pros and cons I hope you get some new idea on what would be your perfect tablet I mean if budget is not your concern of course go with the iPad but you are working with a tiny budget uh, maybe you want to consider the novel for the lightness thinness and there are many creative idea with a docking option with a smaller screen option or the Samsung tablet with a very nice camera in it and a bigger screen and beautiful white color so that's it for the video today please thumb up like this video subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time bye for now